Read. game understood how do I oh jeez is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. What a hoot. Uh, excuse me, there's thin ice over there. You probably don't want to go that way. Investigate the clues? You mean these? Alright, read 
Okay, what else is there? Oh, we gotta read this too. Grab it. Okay. Goodness, these controls. Okay, there we go. Just I just click on it. Good. Push the sign. Okay. Right click, you react to things, left you pick it up, I guess. Alright. Middle mouse. And wait. These controls can get a bit getting used to. I can grab it or push it. Why would I want to push an owl? Better listen to that warning. Shoulda. Oh. State and character? Uh... I didn't see you again this time either. Little Peggy. David Young, former knock with the Boston PD. In 
now a detective who searches the past. My likes include 100% de agave tequila. My dislikes are mainly drugs and chewing gum. Two years ago, someone killed my wife. Since then, I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Using a certain, very special power. Get out of the bathroom. Alright. Let's wash her face. Uh... It's been broken since that day. My head is full of memories of my wife. And the bullet that robs me of it. What happened in this place? On that day? Oh no, this is... A gift is an expression of emotion. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures. Mementos. Little Peggy. <laughs> Everyone has their own place to work. A small desk in an office, a molten hot factory, a quiet library, the register in the supermarket, or in the middle of an intersection, in bed on a golf course, a kitchen. For some, it's the whole town. <laughs> From the day she died, this has been my place to work. results this time either. This case is in the clear. Did you hear about David's wife? Man, they were just married, too. I heard it was revenge for one of his investigations. Sure sounds like the way they operate. 
Sending a deadly message. The drug of no real blood. Anything. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead end case. I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. And when I do, oh, this is episodic. Of course it is. Amanda? This is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. Well, that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. Yo, David, everything ship shake? Look at me. What do you think? I knew the answer. Just wondering if you did. <laughs> Forrest Kaysen, a detective with the Boston Police Department, and my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for D. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. <clears throat> Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get. Trouble. I'm fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women. Men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me. Actually, means get right over here. But then, leave me alone just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. Never show weakness, no matter who you fight. Oh, give me a break. We're not talking about some investigation here. Uh, I was a fool to ask you. Man, Diana is so stupid. Once feared as the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by unexplained lightning. No one's talking about anything else right now. 
We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. Boston. Starring David Young. Forrest Casey. Characters we don't even know yet? Spoilers! Everyone look away, you can't see this. Passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. <laughs> Cameraman, please. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the boss he was going to give up? apparently starts with the letter D. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? No, it's impossible. There's someone pulling the strings behind this mystery. Yes, I always wanted to be a detective. Right on the money, David. Now I am a detective. Third party most likely used the confusion to spirit the courier away. Lots of people want the evidence he was carrying after all. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Well? No doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours then. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need. Character outfits? What am I going to do with character outfits? Clothes can be changed in the bedroom closet. Okay. Uh, which is probably over here.
Why, would, why do we have so much uh, customization on character right now? We don't, I don't think we have anything different, huh? Oh, but this is actually... They actually give us different stats. Wow, looking good. Hoodie. Oh, let's change our beard! ugly. I'm getting all the easy achievements just for doing this. Let's see what else we can do. Can we talk to people? Oh. Well, looks like this is where we can fix some stamina. care of yourself as part of your job. So why'd this courier turn witness anyway? I don't know the details, but apparently he's in fear for his life. He turned himself into the DEA. And they trust him? Uh, I don't know about that either. But this is information about the mastermind behind real blood. I mean, they're probably saying, can't hurt to hear him out. I feel exactly the same way. What's up, David? Feeling hungry? Okay, good. Let's eat then. I know you too well. You probably have only been drinking alcohol. <laughs> Your badge says detective for a reason, Teddy. <laughs> Go get Amanda. The more the merrier at the dinner table. I guess we're just doing some... Uh, well, just cool cutscenes. Tell me, Teddy, what's up with you and Diana? 
Nice bib, mister. It's just how we roll. New York versus Boston again? That's the root of it. But both of you are originally from New York. I thought you'd be double teaming me. I've been living in Boston for 30 years, man. I'm a Bostonian now, body and soul. Diana doesn't see it that way. Uh, yeah. is that normal? Still got her head stuck right up in New York. So what was it this time? Baseball? Basketball? Not football. Nope. Something bigger. But what's bigger than sports rivalry? Oh, um, this one's bigger. Much bigger. It's all about clam chowder. Hey, you're making Clam a mess. Chowder. Chowder. Yeah. Clam chowder. No matter how you slice it, Boston has the best clam chowder in the world. You're, you're with me on this, right? Right? Huh? Oh, but Diana just can't see. Oh it. man, I'm gonna do that at AX. I'm gonna get five pizzas and eat I them like no this. For comparison. Wow. <laughs> what? I've never eaten clam chowder anywhere but Boston. So it's the best in the world by default. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, David. Mm, sorry. Uh, I can't help you out. I can't say anything absolute that isn't based on personal experience. I need you on this. All I needed you to say was damn straight. Uh, Right, we got some clam chowder and some pizza. Good old ale. Well, that was complete. Whatever. Wow, free money. Nice. This is one of Kaysen's reports, apparently. A lot to read here. Oh, that that's healed me. I didn't need to buy What's anything up, at all. David? Something you needed to ask? What's the bio on the courier? Antonio Zapatero, 28. Quick to go underground, but then quickly pops up again somewhere else. That's why they call him the courier rabbit. <laughs> why rabbit? He's also a womanizer. So you know how rabbits are? Strong libidos. I bet the ladies call him Bunny in bed. <laughs> Gross. Why is this courier running his mouth about providing evidence then? Standing out like that, he'll get penalized and sit out a match. It's like he's begging the bad guys to come silence him. It's a real blood case after all. I mean, a regular courier wouldn't talk. Even if it meant death, if I had to choose between jail and hell, oh man, I'd still choose lockup. Uh, there's something behind all this. So it's all a big conspiracy? Don't ask me. There are people who have conspiracy theories about your case, though. You lost your beloved wife, and I lost the best partner a cop could ever ask for. Dash, dash. Yeah, the more you think about the questions, the more distant the answers become. Oops. So how are the BPD tied up in this? The BPD has the special drugs unit, after all. The team you once belonged to. Once? We have a long history of handling real blood. Our past knowledge can come in handy for cases like this one. Uh, hi, Amanda. Any progress with the case since I left? Uh, we're still hard at work on it. We're not getting any results. This drug is king across New England now. Mm. It's been under analysis for years, but MIT still doesn't know how to make it. Kaysen always looks like he's smiling. World except now. In the hell. Now he looks sad. Do you think the past can be changed? David. 
can't change the past. You just have to accept the past. I don't know. Have you played Life is Strange know, Episode 3? If I could just meet with little Peggy one last time, I'll change the past. You'll see. Well, since I'm full, let's just not eat anything. Let's head to the bathroom. Or let's go out here. We get credits for just about everything we do. <gasps> Birds. Sticks out to me. Oops. Oh, so there's invisible stuff too. That was 300. Why did it cost so much? Sounds good. What is he doing? Is he gonna water that plant? Sticks out again. I don't have time for this right now. Dang it, I didn't want to talk to you.
Teddy. Hey, thanks for all the help. Huh, no problem, David. We're partners. You may have quit the force, but that fact won't change. Well, if you trace it all the way back, if I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place... Teddy! Nada. Excuse me? Don't give me that look, Amanda. Just trying to give him a reason to live. Well, we'll see how he travels in just a bit. We're going to use our special power. Little Peggy. Time has been frozen for me since that day. <laughs> Will I see you this time? <laughs> so we hold a memento in front of a mirror. We'll put it in our head. Oh. a story of a man with oh, a no. very strange fate. Hey, look. Oh, you know it. Like I've grown wings. Is this the opening for every every episode? Uh, it came out yesterday, I believe. Or the day before. Alright, here we go, episode one. Oh, cool. The lavatory. On an airplane. <laughs> you, colon D D D D D D D. That guy's really happy. Watching memories called mementos. Allows me to dive into the past. The day little Peggy was killed, I survived. Miraculously, somehow, I survived. In exchange for losing my memory, I gained this power. That has to be a sign of something. Alright, calm down in there. Surely tell me the truth. <gasps> oh no, he's bleeding. Look for D. I can't get a voice out of my head. Who killed her? Just who is D? The only way to silence that voice is to change my fate. Maybe. 
Even that clock is real time? Probably not. It is not six, isn't it like nine right now? Yeah, it's nine. Vanishing from an airplane during a flight? Hello. That's. Oh, it's awesome. the Hitman guy right there. Careful, he's gonna kill us. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Number 47. Whoa, sorry. Are you okay? David. Little Peggy? Sir, are you okay? You look like you've just seen a ghost. My apologies, Olivia. You just look so much like an old girlfriend of mine. What's that supposed to mean? Just for a second. I actually thought little Peggy had come back to life. I have to get back to work. Sure. No problem, Olivia. Just well, no. Thing, Some people might take it as a, aware that a we hit. Carry a passenger list aboard. Huh. Memorized it, have you? We don't take kindly to stole uh -oh. if that's what you are. A stowaway, am I? Well, Miss Olivia Jones. Maybe you're on the strawberry flavor. <laughs> 